In this video, I'm going to talk about how to stop sugar cravings. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Linda Poirier with BodiesAfterBabies.com, helping you fit into your jeans, get your sexy back, and find that life of happy. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the little bell icon to be notified when I upload my next videos. There is going to be a lot of them. Let's get started. I know for a lot of you out there, sugar is a major pain in the butt. We get those cravings, especially when we're emotional, and it leads to binging, it leads to chocolate, it leads to whatever we can get our hands on. The recommended daily amount of sugar for a woman is six teaspoons of sugar, which is actually 24 grams of sugar per day. We actually ingest a lot more than what the recommended amount is. Sugar has been known and proven to be addictive. They've done studies on rats where when given a choice between cocaine and sugar, they would choose sugar. Even the ones who are already addicted to cocaine. So if you're always wondering, how can I stop these sugar cravings? They're out of control. This video is for you. So one of the first things that I recommend is that you eat regularly. Don't skip the breakfasts and eat every three to four hours. Why do you do that? If you can control your blood sugars throughout the day so you don't get those spikes, that'll make it a little better for you when it comes to those sugar cravings. It helps you lose weight better too. When you do eat, try comboing your food with protein, carb, and fat together. That'll help you be more full and will keep you level throughout the time until you eat again. Now, it's important when I say eat regularly, I mean eat healthy regularly. I'm not talking about every three to four hours and having a burger and fries and whatever else you can get your hands on. The next one is find ways to lower your stress. I'm sure you can relate to me if you are getting those sugar cravings. It's typically emotional eating for the most part. As women, like I mentioned, we get that emotional triggers and we head towards the cupboard. For me, I crave chocolate. I have to be very wary when I start having those sugar cravings and assess myself. I do talk a little bit about these and cravings in my video, which I will link to up here. And it talks about what's called the hunger and fullness scale and how to reassess yourself. It's really super helpful. Find ways to lower your stress, whether it's going out for a walk, getting that exercise in, taking out the stressors in your life, and just learning how to be in the moment rather worried about what happened yesterday or what's happening tomorrow. Change the foods you eat. Now, for example, if you have yogurt and you love yogurt, but maybe you're getting the kinds with the fruit at the bottom or the fruit already in it, take a look at the sugar content in them. Then swap out for a healthier version. For example, you could get the Greek yogurt or plain yogurt and grab frozen berries or unfrozen berries, pop them in, blend them and mix them and have it like that. That'll bring your sugar level down and you won't get those constant like cravings to get it. They'll still taste good and they'll still have some natural fruit sugars in it, but you're not loading yourself with so much sugar. Next is boost your serotonin levels. One of the things that happens is we get stressed out, our cortisol levels are crazy high, and we go to that sugar, we have it, and then our happy hormone comes in. So to replicate that, find things that would up your levels. Exercise has been shown to up those serotonin levels. The foods you eat will help you. Go have fun and de-stress, but find ways to boost serotonin naturally. Try popping gum or brushing your teeth. When I get cravings, sometimes I'll pop a gum in my mouth, keeps me busy. I have something that tastes good and it prevents me from wanting to snack on a bunch of stuff. When you brush your teeth, I don't know if you've ever tried it or not, but if you've ever brushed, brushed your teeth and tried eating after and it does not taste as good. So that's one of my tricks that really helps remove items from the house that will trigger you. You might be fine and then all of a sudden you're going down and you're walking through the pantry or you're looking in the fridge and you get triggered that, oh, I'm craving that now. 
get rid of those foods, replace them and swap them out for the healthier version. Prep healthy snacks ahead of time. If you have snacks in the fridge and you're feeling munchy, you can go in there and grab your healthy snack. I know for me, I need to chop them up and have them ready or I'm super lazy and I'll head towards the chocolate. I know this about me, so I will make sure that I have snacks in the fridge that I can go and grab out in a moment's notice. It really helps in that area. Drink water. Most often we're dehydrated and we think we're hungry and we start getting these cravings. Go grab some water. I have some flavored recipes up here as well and you can help crush that craving. Add more fiber and greens to your meals. When you're doing that, you're getting a little fuller, you're getting satiated. So add the greens, you are getting nutrients as well, which a lot of times when our body craves something, it's something we're missing. I know for chocolate, when you crave chocolate a lot, it could be that magnesium you are deficient in. So eat your greens. Get more sleep. Sleep deprivation has definitely been linked to poor dietary choices the following day. And that makes total sense. When you wake up, you're so tired, you don't feel like prepping anything, you get what's convenient and you zip out the door and you don't have your lunch made, all kinds of things start to happen and everything goes downhill from there. Get more sleep, get more quality of sleep, fix your surroundings, go to bed earlier, don't eat late at night, all these things can contribute to a better day the next day and you will feel so much better. Your butt's going to thank you for it and that will also help in how you feel. And there will be less emotional eating and more joy. Now here is a little secret that I really think this is totally awesome. I have strawberries on hand. And when I get a craving, I go and grab a strawberry and I do a pinch of salt on the strawberry and I mean just a little twist of my sea salt and I eat it. I saw this a long time ago, it was on Dr. Oz and I've used this method and it crazy works. Something about opening your taste buds on your mouth, it tricks your mind to think you're still having something sweet, but you have that little bit of salt that takes away some of the sugar cravings. Now you might be thinking, whoa, I wouldn't think salty would take away that sugar craving, but try it. You can use it on other fruit as well. You could do it on an apple or pear, but just do a slice of it, put a little bit of salt and smack it back. It's awesome. I recommend the strawberry. You still get that sweetness and you get that saltiness. Yeah, for sure try it. Comment below, I want to hear about this if you guys love it too. And that's it. That's how to stop sugar cravings. Thank you so much for watching. Go pick a couple to do this week. Until next time. It's pretty bright.